Hey, how's it going there, my fellow Goshawks, and welcome back to another episode of Days Gone here on the Michael Goshawks channel. And today, we're going to have an amazing episode because we're going to strike the rippers for those medical supplies as we talked with Schizo the last episode. So, yeah, this is a really stupid plan. Uh, plan. Let's get right into the video. Hey, you guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Days Gone, and we are here today to go search for the medical supplies as Schizo said to us last episode after we had that inconvenience with, with Boozer we're really close now so yeah and I feel like Boozer is not gonna be okay after the thing that happened Something bad is going to happen to him. I'm sure of it. They they made us go grab the knife, so probably we'll have to even cut his arm off. I hope not, but I'm I'm waiting for it at this point. And yeah, let's see what they have to say to us. parts really cut off the gameplay like they have to make these loading screens like less Schizo, it's St. John. I'm at the border. You see any right. around? No, Schizo, it's clear. Look, how much time do I got? Time? Time for what? All I know is I got a card game going on with a few of my guys. A couple of them maybe that should be out on guard duty, but I'm letting that slide. If I had to guess, I'd say we'd be playing all night. So until morning, got it, Deacon out. All right, nice. We have until morning. That's not a lot of time, but it should do the trick for us to grab the supplies and get out. Oh. Right, right to the crash site, playing all night long. It's guaranteed. You see these things? There's gotta be rippers around here. Oh yeah, I see on the map some red. I'm probably gonna park my bike over here. Yeah, it's better. Let's park it and let's take a look. See if we see anybody. Oh yeah, we see a couple of people. At least three. Oh four actually. Let me see. Do I see any I can see oh no, I see one more actually down there. There you go. Alright, let's see. Oh, I have a lot of suppressor. Let's take out these guys quietly. Or try to at least. Alright, let's make a move on this guy. Oh, wait. That guy over there. Oh, shit, he has armor. That's not gonna be easy. But. I mean, every enemy has to die to a Molotov, don't they? Does he know we are here? Let me see, can I put the Molotov on him? Oh, we're a little far away, I don't want to risk it. Let's take out this guy that's closer. Alright, it seems that only one of the guys has armor, so yeah. yeah. In the bad situation, I guess that's a good thing. Alright, let's try and get a little closer to throw this Molotov. Maybe he'll come to us? I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Alright, let's throw it right now because he stopped. Oh, there you go, he should die, I think. What, he didn't die? It's like perfectly alive. You don't want to die, buddy? Hello? Yeah, I think we're just gonna have to shoot him in the head, maybe. Holy shit, he has LNG. He has an LNG, goddammit.
Yeah, all right, nice, we got him. It was hard, but in the end we made it. Let's collect the supplies they had in their body. I don't know, I don't know how you... Like, it's amazing how in all these video games, like, the characters collect all these items. And, like, Deacon carries a lot of items, he just has a little purse on his back, you know? That's a little weird. Whatever. Let's collect this body and get the cabin fuel so I can get my bike refueled and continue on with the mission. Alright, let's see. How my, how's my bike doing? Oh yeah, like, I forgot that in the middle of missions you don't need the, the fuel. It's unreal, it's un unrealistic, I mean, but it's a good thing, I guess. You don't have to worry about fuel in the middle of missions. Alright, let's push this car. Let's see, oh, there's a guy over there. What the fuck does he not, how the fuck does he not see this? Like, those other guys heard one small step, but he doesn't hear me or see me. Pushing this car. Okay, that's a little weird, I guess. Let's try and use this crossbow. It might be better. Yeah, let's use it. I don't know. Let's try and go for the head. Oh, we took off his armor, I think. Let's see. Oh no, he still has armor. Maybe now? Oh no, we took off his armor definitely, but I think we need one more shot. Let's see, because these guys are all on drugs or something and they are really resilient to damage. Let's see if I can keep pick up his ammo as well, like, his ammo, I, his gun I mean. Like... Oh nice, I can pick it up. Alright, nice. And I got two Bye bolts now. back. So yeah, I think I'm gonna pick it up because the crossbow, I can get it back at any time. Because it's a gun that I actually own. This gun I don't own, so I'm gonna take it for now just to try it out. See if it's a good thing to buy at the Tucker Encampment later. When I level up the camp and have enough credits. I think I have a lot of credits on the on that camp, actually, to be honest. Alright, there's actually some snipers patrolling this road. So Yeah, we're gonna have to take him out. Right, right to the crash site. It's actually cool, pretty close now. 200 meters. Let's see if I can get a cheesy shot off of here. I'm trying to aim for the head. Oh no, yep, they've spotted us. Let's just run for it. I think I can do that. I'm gonna use my bike as well. This should be easy, they're snipers, they don't have the high fire rate on their guns. Oh buddy, I'm not lost, I'm just here to kill you, you know? Like that. And you, oh you're hiding your little head? I can still kill you. There you go. That was easy. Not that easy, not that hard, I don't know. I'm just saying stupid crap by now. Oh, I could pick up these guns. I feel like there's gonna be a boss fight, the game giving us all of these guns. There's different weapon types. Maybe a new type of rippers? I don't know. Like I said last episode, a new type of ripper would like the blades on, on the head. A lot, of, a lot of knives stuck to their heads, I don't know. Alright, let's go to this crash site, take a look, see if we can find anything. But first, let me pick up the sapling because it really helps me build and craft more arrows. Oh, we just unlocked a new herb. Nice. I feel like this game would be really easy to get the platinum trophy because pretty much the challenge is to do that. It's just holy shit. Where did you come from? And you miss all my shots. Oh, your shots. 
Oh, there you are. Shit, I lost my suppressor. Anyway, it was easy. Wasn't that hard to take that guy out. Oh, yo, look at the detail on that suppressor. It's broken and everything. Oh, nice, some more ammo. For the light machine gun. I've been waiting to try out this weapon for so long, bros. It's like amazing, this weapon. Alright, let's go to this objective, see if we can find this medicine. And bring it back to camp. Like everybody says, the anti whatever the fuck. <laughs> I don't know why they call it that. They probably don't even know what to spell it. Yeah, what a hell of a mess. Oh, cutscene. Let's see. It's really spooky. Oh shit, what is that? Oh, and he's out the zombie. Cannibal zombie. Yo, a cannibal zombie? This dude is like on steroids or something. Freaker, I mean. It's not zombie. Alright, let's try to use some Molotovs. I feel like this guy Here, is gonna be weakened to the Molotovs. Yo, three, three right, Molotovs. Yo, look at his health bar, he didn't do shit. Oh shit, I better get out of here. Oh no. Roll. I haven't played this in a while, so I forgot what the roll button was. It's right behind me. I can hear it. Oh, use that. Nice. We actually might have a chance of doing this. Let's ride the new gun. Oh, we actually have to reload it first. Oh shit. That wasn't a good, a good thing. Oh, there's a new canister over here. Let me use it. Near explosive. Come on, buddy, come closer. Ooh, he's a quarter down at least. Oh shit. Oh what? What is this? Oh, we died. Okay. I think the the monster was glitch or something. Maybe. I don't know. In the meantime, if you guys have enjoyed this video, of course, leave some Jesus. feedback. Alright, let's try this again. Everybody tells me third, third time is a charm, but for me, I feel like it's gonna be second time. Second time. Alright, let's see. Can we craft anything? No, but we can use a bandage and craft one then. And we can... Right. At last. Attached suppressor. I don't know why I would at that, so I won't. Yeah, we got a little more bullets now, I don't know why. Or maybe just my impression. Let's craft one of these, might be useful. And let's craft one more Molotov. Okay. Alright. The Molotovs are, aren't that useful, apparently. Oh, it's cutscene again. Let me see if I can skip it. Oh yeah, I'll definitely skip this, I've already seen it. Alright, let's see. Oh shit. Didn't mean to click that. Oh, it's called the breaker. Okay. Oh, nice, some kerosene and the trap. Ooh, a trap. Oh, and more ammo for my LMG. One hundred and two bullets. Okay, that's nice. All right, I feel like if I use this trap correctly, like put it here. I'm sorry, guys, for the burp. Um, I feel like. If the zombie gets stuck, I will be able to blow that explosive and slow him down a bit. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, we have a lot of am ammunition for the for the machine gun LMG. Oh, another trap. Nice. Alright, let's find another explosive. Oh, it's right here. Let's put another one down here. And, like, just, I guess I'll, like, make him follow me, like, he gets stuck. 
and you can shoot him while he's stuck and everything. Uh, let's see if we find another trap because there is a tight space there and maybe we can funnel him with some molotovs or some Oh there you go, another trap, nice. But I mean I don't know, we just saw the other explosive, I don't know where I'm gonna put it. Yeah, I'm gonna put it on the this part. It's really a tight space. And I'm kind of hoping he goes through here and gets stuck. Alright, so I think we're pretty set up. Let's just call this guy, I guess. I mean, not exactly call this guy, but yeah. Let's see what we have here. Uh, oh, we have some attractors. Nice. Maybe we can, like, attract him there and put a grenade? Maybe? A frag? I can't see this. Oh shit, he just comes at me! It, it didn't do anything to him. But at least, we now have this trap. Hey, are you coming? Okay. Come here, man. We got a little surprise for you. Did he get stuck in the trap? I don't know, he's just like, yo, I'm chilling, buddy. It seems like the weapon does the same damage. Oh, nice, he got stuck. It seems the weapon does the same damage as the Molotov. Which is weird. Oh shit, I got stuck. Let's see if he gets stuck from this trap as well. Oh no, he didn't. Alright, let's use this explosive. Oh shit, he's still going. He's all burnt up and he's still going. Alright, let's see what I can throw down. Oh, didn't mean to do that. But, yeah. Oh, hello, buddy. Come here. Smell that. Yo, that did a lot of damage. Nice. Let's see if we can catch him this time around. He seems to get lost when we go through there. For some odd reason. Yo, this LMG does a lot of damage. He's a Molotov, I guess. Burning up. There you go, he's burning. Oh, oh no, you don't want that. Don't kill me, I'm almost... Yeah, man. He's almost dead. He can't die now. Alright, I guess I'm gonna have to use... One more Molotov or something. Or maybe just use my gun, I don't know. Yeah, this whole machine is like MVP. Just let me just use it. Shit, I'm almost dead. Kill. Don't die now, Deacon. You're doing a great job. I'm almost finishing up. Come on. I'm stuck in the trap. You don't get stuck in the trap? Let's roll, Deacon. I'll craft those after. He's almost dead. This should work now. What? There you go. Tough. Yo, if this Son gives me an ear, break your ear. Yeah, Ain't that's right. One tough son of a bitch. But like, if this gives me an ear, this gotta work. You work a lot. Alright, where's these antibiotics? These better be worth. These better be a lot. Yo, where are they? Where's the antibiotics? Yes. 
I appreciate the. Yo, is this it? What is this it? Is this all the antibiotics that there was? No. Like the Red Cross we'll fix surely up. has and then we way more out of here, head north, than like, like said. a box of antibiotics. Deacon St. John, you there? Deacon, like I don't this understand. Is Ricky. Over. Oh really? Damn it, I can't let her know I'm out here. <clears throat> hey, Ricky, this is Deke. Uh, you're breaking up. I can't hear you. Deke, where are you? I need to get... Oh, yeah, sorry, Ricky. I don't have time for this right now. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, because I'm in the middle of their territory, and... I, don't, I was gonna say, like, I don't know why Iron Mike has a treaty with them. They're just full of bullshit. The... the Rippers. Like, you have a treaty with them, you're like, oh, we're cool, bro, aren't we? And then j they just come knocking down your door. Killing everybody at your camp. I feel like that's what's gonna happen. They're not exactly the type of friendly people, you know? Wait! That's Deacon! Behind right, him! Let's see what's gonna happen. Oh, for once, actually, you, his kids are out there. Right up the road. Make sure they don't come back. Thank you, I guess. Now! Run them down! What was left of them? Yeah. What was left of them? Hey, I heard gunshots. What's going on? We had a run-in with a few rippers, but I handled it. You handled it? What's oh, it? no. R How? Ricky's gonna... No. I should have known. There you go. You should have known what? Jesus, Ricky, who's running security here? You know, I ask myself that shit every single day. I'm done here. Good. So what are you doing out here? What am I doing, Dick? Addy told me to come and get you. Why? What? Hold on for a second. Is Boozer okay? I don't know. We gotta go. Oh, no. Boozer. Like I said in the beginning of the episode, I'm waiting What's wrong for with his arm to get fed off. All I know is Addy told me to find you. When I, really I asked around, I found out you and Schizo were heading up here. Now I know why. I don't know what you're talking about. The crash site? The medical supplies? Ah, shit. It's no big secret, Dick. Iron Mike was negotiating with Carlos, making a deal so our camp would split it with the... What is that screen? Oh, bullshit! What do you mean? I mean bullshit! I was there! At that cargo hold's already been looted. Tracks from the crash site all head south. Now, I've been dealing with the fucking rippers for months. You can't trust a the goddamn thing ripper. they say. Now you're sounding like Schizo. Schizo, he put exactly. you up to this. He told you about the crash site. No way. <laughs> yeah, great. So now you're calling me Schizo's errand boy. But maybe Schizo's oh? right for one thing. Now how'd you find out about A drifter up at Copeland's camp. Like you said, it ain't no big secret. Yeah, right. Well, Schizo's been trying to pick a fight with the Rippers for months. Guess it's lucky you came along to do it for him. Okay, I guess. I guess that's a good thing for Schizo. So uh, let me ask you something. Yeah. Can I stop you? Last time I saw you, before last winter. Iron Mike to go fuck himself because he wouldn't pay you to bring in survivors. It's not Holy exactly shit. what happened. I remember it pretty clearly. Iron Mike said he'd have nothing to do with slavers. Okay, we never forced anyone to come in against their will. How about Tucker? Same thing true for her? I don't know. You ever think when you roll up on someone starving out in the shit maybe hasn't slept in days? reach the point where they stop running from men like you, you ever think they don't have a choice? But you took them to the hot springs just to say, earn a few camp credits. Everybody's got a choice, Deacon. It takes us a lot to for... bringing in someone who can't work, can't earn their way. You know, you just be glad that Iron Mike isn't like you.
Okay, I guess Ricky's got a point. Like, these guys on this camp don't want to be like a slavery camp in Tucker's, just straight up a slavery camp. Because even when you deliver survivors to this camp, you just get a lot of XP to level up the camp. In Tucker, you just get credits so you can spend on guns and all of the fuel for your bike and William you know William if you can hear me that. I need you to stop Addy what's going on loser <clears throat> go and hold him what the hell are you doing listen, what are you doing listen no, we need to do this arm. and we need to do this yeah. right now what no huh? don't you oh, don't no. you take Deacon. it no get no. his arm off no you're not no way no you're not gonna Deacon, do this to listen to me the antibiotics will save his Let's life, but nothing on says. God's earth is going to save the arm. Now listen, I need you to help me right now, or you will just watch your friend die. Okay. Eddie, we're losing him. Stop. Wait. Okay. All right. All right, all right. Hey, pal. Hey, pal. All right, hey, oh, I just I need you to If you're a little kid, me. just turn away right okay. now. You don't want to see this. Dick. They're probably gonna, not going like, to show, okay, but okay, still, okay. turn away now. Ah! Oh my goodness, I it. We're losing. No, 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 he's losing too much blood. you got to stop. He's losing too much blood. Hand me the gun. Ah! 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 Oh! Oh, no. Boozer, come on, man. Come on. Hold him. You're okay, pal. Where? Where do I hold him? Just hold him like this. Stop panicking. I'm and I'm crying. <laughs> What is that gauze gonna do? Like, I don't understand. Hey. You did good in there. When I was in high school, I thought, hmm, maybe I should be a mechanical engineer, or should I be a surgeon? I guess I should have been a surgeon. Pretty cool <laughs> job, mechanical engineer. And you. Hey, hey, okay. You know, you saved your friend's life today. She's gonna take it for the medicine, probably. I don't think he's gonna see it that way. Yeah, well, I and think for the he help. Will. I gotta go and give him his IV drip. And you know what? I don't know where you got all this, and I don't want to know. But it's gonna save a lot of lives, Deacon St. John. A lot of lives. There you go. That's a way to say thank you, I guess. I gotta go help Addy. Down, okay? Deacon, get out here! <laughs> oh, <laughs> like it was too good to be true. Like it had to be. I heard what you did. Something had to be. I wasn't about to let him die. Mike, turned upside let down. It go. It's done. I know that. God damn it! Who's are gonna live? I don't know. But the Ripper saw you. He's a tough guy. You Followed you back. When Carlos finds out about this, there's going to be the devil to pay. Carlos can go fuck himself. You are writing checks with other men's blood. I hope you're good with that. Fair point. You did what had to be done. Mike, wait up. This is the point of the story where you start becoming the deacon that was before, I guess. Alright, nice. Mission complete. This is my brother and all that. Alright. We have a new mission up there. What is it? Let me see. I remember. Oh, it's a Nero field research team. Yo, these missions are amazing, actually. Uh, hey there. But yeah, let me first hey. go ahead and go here, see what I can get. Uh, I can buy this weapon, but I have a automatic uh, rifle, so yep. I don't feel like buying see this one. Around. For now, at least. But let me go here to the bike shop. Maybe we hey, get to buy a new upgrade. I remember we had a 
bike, two bikes upgrades that we could get. That's we can buy piece. the exhaust. Nice and sturdy. Yo, let's get the exhaust. No idea how to fix it. I think okay. the okay. motor I'll was like off. 2,000 bucks, so yeah, 2,000 credits. Let me know if so, you yeah. need anything. That was the only thing we could buy, and the bike should be more silent now. And it just started Hold raining, with, like out of nowhere. All right, let's go to this mission of O'Brien. We're gonna do some errands for him because Deacon really wants to know more about what happened to his wife Sarah after you left her on that chopper that night in farewell. I'm pretty sure she's alive still. Like, they can just yeah, build Ricky, up that up? much. Uh, oh. I just wanted to say That's the sawmill where the sorry. big whore at, isn't it? Yeah, probably not as sorry as he is. Look, Addy wanted you to know that if you hadn't brought her that list yeah. tonight, it would be in a hell of a lot more pain right now. Yeah, well, it just it's made it easier for you to carp them up. The list and knife would be anyway, for I, him. We hope exactly. He makes it. Hey, you listen, will. Um, thanks for bringing us in, Ricky. Uh, <clears throat> I gotta go. Deacon out. Alright, nice. Let's go. What is this? Oh, it's a wolf! Get to the mission right now before the wolf's gonna start eating us. Lost Lake to Deacon St. John. Are you there? Alright, let's see what O'Brien wants. Yeah, Ricky, what's up? What? What do you want, I Ricky? Come on. Tell me later. Tell me later, Ricky. Not right now, please. All right, let's see. O'Brien, I'm at one of your beacons. Let's see what happens to O'Brien in the meantime. What do you mean, which one? This Nero radio has a GPS, doesn't it? Yes, of course it does. I, uh, okay. Uh, you're at Olali Falls. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, keep an eye out. A field op is going to be there any minute. O'Brien out. Oh, Brian! Oh, God damn it! Okay. Brian, come in. Your friends are this here. This is not oh, very Brian. good. I told you they're not my friends. He told it was not his okay. friends. Okay, headed on foot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I know. Uh, what do you want me to do? Uh, use one of these tracking devices. Okay. Subject, the freak that was tagged in a nearby cave. A cave? You, you want me to follow armed Nero goons into a cave? Just stay close to her. While you're in range, I can intercept her data. Hmm. Well, Brian, I'm still working on the info you want. Don't yeah, ask. Yeah, I know that. Then why the hell am I talking to you? Oh, Brian, out. <laughs> Sound off. Okay. Oh, let's see, we have a lot of people around. We can't kill them because they have the clev clever, cle Kevlar, I mean, yeah. I mean, the Kevlar armor, hey, so let's shoot some rocks to distract them. That one's gonna go <laughs> the hell are we doing down out? there, and this Let's one's go. gonna go behind the chopper. And there you go, that's our window. <laughs> That's our window to paradise, so to the caves. I heard something. I don't feel like this is paradise. Anyway, let's make this guy go there. Just stop crying, like a little baby. Right over here. Scientist. Got that. Easier said than done. Stage one, stage two, stage three thing. I mean, the virus is what it is, right? Oh, we're right? gonna learn about the stage no, things. No, more complicated than that. Now let me... Okay. I know I'm a grunt. But before the freak show, I was a biology major. Just give me the gist. Really? Try me. Okay. 
We don't really know, but blood tests show. The current evidence suggests that the virus spreads through the lymph system, reproducing and attacking cells on a catastrophic scale. Attacking? More precisely, expressing a series of normally dormant proto-oncogenes into an active state. Doing? Cancer. Look at him. Look at all of them. I don't Nothing understand do anything you. she's saying. Maybe you're really bad. No. No, no, this is something far worse. What do you mean? This virus is on a mission. The freaks are what they are because the virus wants them that way. What are you saying? I'm saying. Oh, so it's deliberate. Terrorism? You're saying it's man made. I don't know. Is that it? Is she done? Yeah, okay, time to get the hell out of Dodge. Holy man. Or right, let's get out of here. This was informative. Oh, I'm not gonna get out that way. There's a cave here, so it, mm, there might be a way out here. Let's see, one swarmer here. Nice. Alright, nice. There's a window of opportunity here to get out. Nice. And let's go back to our bike, I guess. Try to escape this place. These people are dangerous and we don't want to deal with them. Alright, nice. Mission completed, I guess. That's it. It's on a mission, the virus. Interesting mission, to be honest. Deliberate... Okay. I remember, 41% dealing with my past. And... O'Brien, come in. I've I got think... the data. I think we're actually gonna... Receiving oh. it now. Thank you, Drifter. What the hell is she talking about, O'Brien? About this You're welcome. virus, whatever the hell it is, or what what it's doing. I wanna know what the hell's going on, O'Brien. Why are they out here? What the fuck are you doing? O'Brien! Okay. Yeah. I'll be in touch. O'Brien. Why are they out here like two years after the Oh boy, this is gonna get old fast. Okay. Yeah, man. Well, anyway, I think I'm gonna end this episode here, because there literally are no missions right now. And, I mean, there are missions, but there are side missions. And, yeah, I think I'm gonna end this episode here. Uh, like always, if you guys... Uh, yeah, Ricky, what's up? Iron Mike oh, says you volunteered to stick around, do some runs this. for the camp, but that you refuse to work for Schizo. Something like that. Well, I can't say I blame you. Okay, well, I guess I'm stuck with you. That's I'll funny. Stop by the mechanic shop. Uh, got a job for you. Yeah, okay. Beacon up. Alright, we unlocked the jobs, I guess. Is this gonna be a side mission, I think? So. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Oh no! Return to Iron Mike's camp. That's a main mission. Still, anyway, uh, I think I'm gonna end this episode here. Oh, I missed the bridge. Come on, man, what are you doing? What are you doing? I can't put a small bike in... I mean, this bridge is really tiny. And it's not the well most built bridge, I guess. But whatever. I'm gonna end this episode here, guys. Next episode, we're gonna check out that mission of Ricky. And, oh, what are you doing? I'm just taking out freaks, I guess. So yeah, like always, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe for more of this, and click the bell to stay notified with all the videos I post. And shut up in the background, please. Guy there. Anyway, I guess I'll catch you guys in the next episode.